Hello and welcome. My name is Prasenjit Singh, and today we are going to discuss about the six-hour long outage that Facebook had yesterday. In fact, this was the biggest outage since 2008 that Facebook camp has seen and uh, Facebook went down, WhatsApp went down, Instagram went down and other dependent websites also went down. I even heard that Oculus was down. So it was a huge, huge outage and uh, people have been speculating about the reason behind this outage. Uh, those who work for cloud or security or DevOps or site reliability, everyone has been thinking like what, what was wrong and most of them uh, have been doing guessworks like it could be DNS or BGP because if the outage is this long then that could probably be the reason and from sources um, within Facebook we have come to know that um, it was because of a misconfiguration in the BGP uh, uh, route so let's take a deep dive and understand what BGP is and how it could have caused an outage on something as massive as Facebook so at a very basic level BGP stands for uh, Border Gateway Protocol and it is one of the systems uh, that the internet uses to get your traffic where it needs to go and as quickly as possible because there are tons of different internet service providers, backbone routers and servers responsible for uh, your data making it to say a website in this case facebook uh, there is a tons of different uh, routes your packets could end up taking now bgp's job is to show them the way and make sure it's the best route so uh, let me explain it uh, more in a more generic fashion we know what dns is dns is the address resolver so say you want to go to facebook.com dns tells you well this name facebook.com resolves to this particular ip address so now you know the address of the destination but you know do not know how to reach there so for example you're driving your car and you know you have to drive to say heathrow airport so you know the address you know the destination but you need google or apple maps to reach there so you need to know which road to take which is the shortest path and um, how would you reach there in the least um, time and which is the most effective way to reach it uh, reach your destination bgp you can imagine it as a bunch of people uh, making and updating maps uh, that show you how to get to your destination website so in this case how to get to facebook when it comes to BGP, the internet is broken into uh, big networks known as autonomous systems or AS. You can sort of imagine them as island nations. Uh, they are networks that are controlled by a single entity, which could be an internet service provider like uh, Comcast, a company like Facebook, like big companies can have their own autonomous systems as well. And uh, uh, ASs can be also. Uh, governed by major universities or even governments so it would be extremely difficult to build bridges connecting to every island to all others so bgp is responsible for telling you which islands or autonomous systems you have to go through to get to your destination so all these autonomous systems are interlinked together using uh, this BGP protocol and that generates the map of your uh, route leading to your destination website. So that is how internet works actually. Uh, since the internet is always changing, these maps are dynamic, so they have to be updated and you don't want your internet service provider to lead you to an old road that is no longer existent or no longer leads you to your destination website so it's a massive undertaking you can say to map and remap and remap the internet all the time so autonomous systems share the maps with each other and then they come up with the uh, latest data and the latest maps they occasionally talk to their island neighbors to see and copy any updates they have made to their maps and update their own databases as well so using maps as a framework it is easy to imagine how it would be uh, working so 
it is also easy to imagine how things could go wrong when updating the map. Back to when the consumers uh, first got access to GPS, there were uh, always jokes about driving over a cliff or walking um, straight into a river and so on. So similarly, things go wrong here uh, with BGP uh, map updates as well. So that was a simplified version of what BGP is. And uh, you can just imagine it as a map leading to a destination and there are various island nations who maintain their own maps of their own places and they uh, use this protocol BGP to share the maps together and they update their global map using uh, this mechanism. Now, uh, when it comes to a website, things become a bit trickier because website addresses keep changing, paths keep changing and so the maps also keep changing. Uh, well, now coming back to our problem, what happened with Facebook? Facebook, in fact, has its own uh, BGP system. Being a big, big company, it has its own autonomous systems. So that allows the company to make fast incremental updates. And uh, uh, so whenever there are any changes in addresses or routes, um, Facebook itself can update its BGP data and uh, so that gets propagated very quickly uh, within its own uh, data center. Now, cybersecurity reporter Brian Krebs claims that the outage was caused by a routine BGP update. Now from Facebook's engineering update, um, we heard that it was caused by configuration changes to backbone routers that coordinate network traffic between their data centers. So that led to a cascading effect on the way Facebook's data centers communicate, bringing its services to a halt. So according to them, there was no security um, breach. There was no outage in the servers or services. It was just the requests were not able to reach the destination because of uh, the faulty update that happened. Uh, the thing is, Facebook was communicating within itself, but it wasn't able to reach the outer world because all the BGP is an allocation lists were uh, messed up. Uh, as I told you already, DNS tells you where you're going, the address. Now, BGP tells you how to get there, the map. So. Uh, it both work hand in hand in order to uh, resolve the problem of connecting to different websites in the internet. So um, that was pretty much what the problem was about. Even we had uh, these similar kind of issues uh, recently, but that uh, with Cloudflare, but that was uh, more to do with uh, DNS. Now here it is uh, about border gateway protocol or bgp what happened it seems that facebook servers from for for some reason uh, asked everyone to take them off their maps they made an update that uh, routes have changed you can update your maps and take us off so that's what all the other uh, is then did and then finally uh, the new update could not come online and uh, so all the ASNs lost the maps to Facebook and uh, and that's how Facebook, uh, Facebook's BGP knocked out all its services. So how does Facebook recover from this problem? Given that the outage went on for about six hours, uh, there were reports that Facebook needed to make sure it was um, advertising the correct records and uh, those records were picked up by the internet at large and in other words it needed to make sure the maps were right and that everyone could see them and this propagation took some time and then things were back up thank you for being with me so that was all about the facebook whatsapp and instagram outage yesterday that lasted six hours